Among the biggest stars on show at the summer's Indonesian Badminton Festival, there was a little one named Vega Roda Axelsen who stole the hearts in Bali. Hello, it's uh, Victor Axelsen here, and uh, I'm here with our baby, uh, baby daughter Vega, who is also saying hi. <laughs> Um, and we're here at the play area at the hotel uh, where we spend a lot of time in between matches and uh, tournaments while here in Bali. Um, it has obviously been really nice to, uh, to have Natalia and Vega here to get my mind off badminton a little bit. For both Natalia and I, I think we can say that uh, uh, Vega is uh, the most important person obviously in the whole world for us and the most important thing. Um, she is, um, since she came, uh, came to the world, she uh, obviously our love for her has uh, only grown. Um, so even though it's a big work, uh, it's a you know a big task being uh, being a parent. We're really enjoying it. So she means she means the world to us. If I had a bad day at practice um, or something like that, you know Vega is still smiling when I get back home, and she takes my mind off badminton a lot. So um, it's a big strength for me. And, and now I don't only play for myself, you can say, but I play for the whole family. When she's if there is like a poster in the, you know, in the, at the entrance at the tournaments or something like that, she'll recognize me and say, ah, baba, baba, baba. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely fun. <laughs> no, I think um, everybody, you know, a lot of people are asking me that question. And for us, the most important thing is that Vega is happy. You know, maybe she doesn't like sports at all. Maybe she's the creative type. You know, we would be surprised because we're both really active, especially in the badminton world, obviously. Um, so, if she wants to play badminton, obviously we can help her a lot. If I could choose, I think uh, tennis would be uh, would be good for her. I think she would be tall. I think she would be strong. I can help her with uh, with all the physical work and all the mindset side of things, and then uh, then we just have to find a good tennis coach.